Eric Brown agreeing to terms on a four-year extension that, according to NFL Network insider Ian Rappaport, is worth $96 million, with more than $63 million guaranteed. The Giants agreeing to terms with safety slash linebacker Isaiah Simmons, pending a physical. Simmons played in all 17 games last season in his first season with New York, starting four of them. New Falcons quarterback Kirk Cousins telling Shaquille O'Neal on the big podcast that he wants to finish his career strong in Atlanta and for it to be his final stop. Cousins adding he wants fans to remember him as a Falcon. And Chargers tight end Hayden Hurst says they want to be known as a physical team. Hurst saying, quote, we're going to come at you. When you see us pop up on the schedule, it's going to be a long Sunday. This has been NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same, but is 95% cheaper and you can get it online? Go to hymns.com slash joy. Through hymns, you'll get a free medical consultation, discreet shipping if prescribed, and the process is 100% online. To start your free online visit, go to hymns.com slash joy. That's H-I-M-S dot com slash J-O-Y. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger, Offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger, For the ones who get it done. And I've got your uh, board of weight update brought to you by A1 Auto Service, 266 Cedar in El Centro. A1 services all automobiles, foreign or domestic, brand new or classic, using the latest technology. Downtown Port of Entry has six lanes open. There's a 30 to 35 minute wait, 10 to 15 minute wait in the Century Lane, 10 to 15 minute wait if you're walking across. Eastport, the Gateway Port, four regular lanes open, 20 to 25 minute wait. The uh, ready lanes are still closed 10 to 15 minute wait in the east century lane that's it that's your board of weight update brought to you by a1 auto service 266 cedar in el centro a1 offers financing on all repairs through synchrony financial on approved credit a1 auto service and repair serving the imperial valley for over 25 years only one in five people with autism are employed, despite many having the skill set and desire to work. Maybe it's because employers don't know what kind of jobs they can do. Like, what about a programmer? That's a job for someone with autism. Uh, how about a healthcare worker? Yep. That is too. People with autism can do a lot of different jobs, but often get overlooked due to outdated stigmas. Introducing WIN by Autism Speaks. We help businesses lead the way in inclusive hiring. What about a ranch hand? Yeah. To learn more, go to autismspeaks.org slash WIN. And it is uh, 731 on this Saturday morning. Time to uh, celebrate some birthdays. Got, got some really good ones, too. Uh, the Big Shot birthdays. April 6th birthdays. Uh, Billy D. Williams, 87 years old today. Our actor Roy Fiennes, he was in The Invaders. He's 86. Barry Levinson, he is a director. He directed The Rain Man and The Natural and a lot of other stuff. He's 82. Actor John Ratzenberger, he was the mailman. <laughs> Cheers. He's 77. Actor Patrika Darbo of The Bold and the Beautiful, 76 years old today. Marilou Henner, she was on Taxi and she's also in Evening Shade. She's 72. Michael Rooker of The Guardians of the Galaxy is 69 today. Actor um, Ari Myers of Kate and Ali, uh, he, Ari was either one of those, as a 55, but he, he was in the show. Paul Rudd is 55 today. Actor Jason Hervey of The Wonder Years, he was the buddy. He is a 52 today. Actress uh, Candace Cameron Burr. She was in Full House. Now she's in the, uh, the new Full House. She's uh, 48 years old today. Local birthdays. We got a few of them coming up. If you're traveling for pleasure or business, don't forget you can take us along. Yeah, log on our website, kxoradio.com. News, weather, information you can use, kxoradio.com. 
Happy birthdays this morning going out to Amber Flores, Victor Moreno, Olivia Madrigal, Daniel Vasquez, Derek Howe, Bobby Edgman, Kimberly Abadi, Columba Sanchez, Rochelle Harrington, uh, Sonia Thompson, we have uh, Miguel Garcia, Ruben Lopez, Daniel Garcia, Alexia Rubio, John Banda, we have Marlene Mesa, Mike Cavanaugh, and Daniela Murieta. Happy birthday to each and every one. Okay, so AM 12:3 will bring you the best college basketball around. Goaltending ball to Marrera. They say count it for three to give UCLA the lead. The 2024 NCAA Men's Basketball Championship Tournament. There'll be 22 games as we take you all the way to the Final Four and the championship game. Side back to Hunter for three. Ah! The NCAA Basketball Tournament is brought to you by CET, the Center for Employment Training, and Kennedy Skarsnick. And today is the Final Four. You're going to hear both those games this afternoon right here on 1230 KXO. Right now, we've got the World News, World and California News headlines brought to you by the Imperial Valley Food Bank. Fighting hunger in Imperial County since 1991. CBS News Brief. Make sure you protect your eyes with special eclipse glasses if you plan on watching the event Monday. Time Magazine editor Jeffrey Kluger. Keep those glasses on. Looking at a bit of the sun peeking out from behind the moon is as dangerous as looking at the sun directly when it's fully exposed. You need to be prepared for aftershocks. That's the warning going out to those on the East Coast who felt yesterday's 4.8 magnitude quake. CBS's Errol Barnett. Those aftershocks while not causing any widespread destruction, can be damaging on the small scale. And this is the most densely populated part of the country. Iran is vowing to retaliate for an airstrike in Syria. CBS's David Martin. U.S. officials tell CBS News Iran is making preparations to launch a swarm of drones and missiles timed around the upcoming end of Ramadan. Two top generals were among those killed in the attack. CBS News Brief. I'm Stacey Lynn. My name is Shelley Wilkinson, and I am an Imperial Valley Food Bank board member. Food has the power to fuel communities, especially among those struggling to find their next meal. As the main distribution center of donated food in Imperial County, we store, rescue, and purchase food in bulk to serve 25,000 people each month at over 30 locations. Join the fight against hunger and food insecurity in the Imperial Valley by donating online today at www.ivfoodbank.org. California headline news. Democrats in Sacramento are still divided on how to solve the budget crisis. Governor Newsom and Senate leaders have their plan. Assembly leadership has other ideas. The frustrating thing, I think, for most Republicans is that we're not part of any of this, uh, these conversations. And, you know, I represent 15 counties in the North State, and their voices don't get heard. Newsom and Senate leaders announced an early action budget pact Thursday to address $17 billion of the expected $73 billion shortfall. The Oakland A's will call West Sacramento home for the next several years. After this season, the A's will no longer have a home at the Oakland Coliseum and will instead play at Sutter Health Park on the banks of the Sacramento River. A's owner John Fisher be able to watch some of the greatest players in baseball, whether they be athletics players or Aaron Judge and others, launch home runs out of this very intimate, the most intimate ballpark in all of Major League Baseball. Mike Salcedo, California Headline News. And the World California News Headlines brought to you this morning by the Imperial Valley Food Bank. Fighting hunger in Imperial County since 1991. Become a hunger warrior. Contact the Imperial Valley Food Bank, 760-370-0966. What if the music stopped? If the familiar voices were silenced? If there were no breaking news updates? What if your companion and connection to your community came with a monthly fee? Don't worry, we're free local radio with you wherever you go. Celebrating 100 years and looking forward to the next 100. We are broadcasters. Text radio to 52886 and let Congress know you depend on your local TV and radio stations. This message furnished by the National Association of Broadcasters. And we are now ready for page one of the local news. Uh, why don't we do that in just a second? From coast to coast, this is Goddard's Gold, right here on the Imperial Valley's...
Get the gold, Goddard's Gold, Saturday 9 p.m. to midnight and Sunday morning 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Okay, we are getting ready for page one of the uh, local news, uh, and it is brought to you by El Centro. Is it brought to you by El Centro Motors Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers with three locations to serve you at El Centro Motors in the Brawley Auto Center at Highway 86 and Julia Drive, and at the Imperial Valley Mall. In the uh, news this morning, we have a couple of cleanups uh, going on. Uh, one in Hauteville, and uh, another one. Uh, one in Hopeville and one in Calexico. The one in Calexico, uh, the Imperial Valley Resource Management Agency hosting the community cleanup in Calexico today. Border City residents can drop off e-waste, tires, appliances, fluorescent bulbs, and even CRV items from 7 a.m. already underway until 11 o'clock this morning. At 500 West 5th Street, behind the water plant, there will be no compensation for CRV items. Also underway uh, is the uh, cleanup in Hauteville. Uh, the city of Hauteville is holding their uh, community cleanup. Uh, it will be open. Uh, it opened up at 6 o'clock this morning and will continue until 12 noon. Uh, the cleanup, 2199 Bonds Corner Road. Uh, residents can de dispose of uh, furniture, large appliances, yard waste, e-waste. Commercial roads, uh, uh, commercial loads are not uh, permitted. Uh, there are no more than nine tires may be disposed of without a transfer transportation waiver from environmental health passenger light duty truck tires will be accepted uh, the cleanup event is only for Oatville residents proof of residency will be required we will have more we will have more in just a minute if you're looking to trick out your truck, then head to the Brawley Quick Lane. They've got a new off-road center. They specialize in lift kits, wheels, and tires that have the right look and perform. There's names like Fox, Bilstein, and Rancho. Method wheels, too. Built up spray bed liners as low as $4.99. It's the right stuff. At the right price, the brand new off-road center at Quick Lane in the Brawley Auto Center, Highway 86 and Julia Drive. Before you head out on the road, head into El Centro Motors Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers. Ask for the works. Train technicians will change the oil using up to six quarts of synthetic blend oil. Change the filter, rotate the tires, top off the fluids, check the belts, hoses, battery and brakes, all for one low price. It's the works at Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers at El Centro Motors, the Imperial Valley Mall and the Brawley Auto Center or with their new mobile service wherever you are. And also going on today, the uh, third annual Autism Awareness Fair. That starts at 12 o'clock this afternoon. will continue on until 5 p.m. It's being held at Agar Park, 9th and G Street in Imperial. The event is free to, uh, to attend. And uh, also going to have the, uh, well, the main event, 5K Fun Run, uh, featured at the event. Sign-ups, uh, well, sign-ups should already be signed up is what I'm trying to say. Uh, Brawley Police Department will conduct an enforcement operation focused Focusing on drivers suspected of violating the hands-free cell phone law. That's tomorrow, uh, Sunday. In a press release, the Brawley Fire Department uh, stated that the uh, current law mandates that drivers are not allowed to hold a phone or electronic communications device while operating a vehicle, including talking, texting, or using apps. Using a cell phone is a punishable by a fine, violating the law a second time within 36 months of the uh, prior conviction uh, for the same offense will add the violation to the driver's record. And that's it. That's page one of the local news, a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers with three locations to serve you. Quick Lane services all makes and models and you will never need an appointment. Throughout the year, we have contests on KXO AM 1230. This allows you the opportunity to have some great fun and a chance to win some nice prizes. 
In order to allow as many people as possible a chance to win, we've established a few ground rules for on-air contests. Number one, you must be 18 years of age or older to win. Number two, only one winner per family per contest in any four-week period. And number three, copies of any of the rules and conditions for specific contests will be available at the KXO studios. It's just that simple. So good luck, have fun, and keep listening to KXO AM 1230. And page two of the uh, local news and your weather brought to you by uh, Burgers and Beer, serving the best burgers in town with daily lunch specials Monday through Friday and happy hour from 3 p.m. until 6 p.m. every day. Main event, of course, Monday is Mother Nature. It's a solar eclipse. Uh, while a swath of the United States will get to see a total eclipse of the sun, uh, the Imperial Valley will have to be content with a partial eclipse. Viewing times in the valley will begin at 10.04 a.m. Monday, reach maximum coverage at 11.13 a.m., and it'll be all done by 12.26 p.m. Approximately one half of the sun will be covered by the moon's uh, shadow at the peak. Experts uh, they remind you that you should never look directly at the sun uh, without proper eye protection like eclipse uh, glasses or a special solar filter. Sunglasses uh, don't work, nor does a smoked glass, x-ray film, or floppy disk. There are directions available on the internet to uh, construct a box projector, however. Got plenty of time because it happens on Monday. Got the whole weekend. Uh, also on uh, Monday, the El Centro's uh, Mondays with the Mayor will happen. Next event is this Monday. The event will be at Rene's uh, Comics and Sports Cards. It will start at 5.30 p.m. It's an opportunity for residents to sit down with the mayor, Sylvia Marroquin, and discuss any issue relevant to the uh, city of El Centro. She wants to hear from uh, your concerns or suggestions on how they can improve the quality of life in it, the uh, community. The event will also be used to highlight the local businesses throughout the city of El Centro. Renee's Comics is located at 549 Main Street in El Centro. And California Midwinter Fair accepting applications. The applications are to serve as a junior fair board member. It is a two-year term. The junior fair board is a group of outstanding Imperial County youth who serve uh, as ambassadors for the fair, assist with livestock shows during the uh, fair, host uh, uh, school days, special persons days, and uh, produce uh, special events like high school madness. Applicants are uh, current Currently, uh, uh, to be a sophomore in an Imperial County high school and able to serve a two-year term. Grade point average must be a 3.0 or higher. Uh, applications uh, and more information available at the California Midwinter Fair website. Deadline to apply is April 30th. Your weather coming up. Did you know that Burgers and Beer has happy hour every day from 3 to 6? With specials on select appetizers, beer specials, and more. Ask about drink specials all day with $5 drinks like Margarita Monday, Tonic Tuesday, Wine Down Wednesday, and Thirsty Thursday. Our weekday lunch specials include a soft drink from only $8 to $11. With tons of TVs, we've got you covered for any sport you want to watch. Burgers and Beer with five locations proudly serving you, your family, and friends since 1985. Burgers and Beer for the best burger in town. The high temperature yesterday, 68 degrees. The overnight low this morning, 46. Wind gusts overnight up to 39 miles per hour. Going to be sunny today. Highs right near 72. West and northwest wind, 5 to 15 miles per hour. Gusting as high as 20 miles per hour. Mostly clear skies tonight. Overnight lows around 48. Winds will be calm. Sunny on Sunday. Highs right near 79. Southwest winds, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Gusting as high as 20 miles per hour. Sunday night, partly cloudy skies. Overnight lows around 53. West wind of 15 to 25 miles per hour, gusting as high as 35 miles per hour. Monday, sunny skies, highs right near 78, with a north northwest wind, 15 to 20 miles per hour, gusting as high as 40 miles per hour at times. And right now we're looking at 48 degrees, 62% the relative humidity. Local news and the weather. Brought to you by uh, Burgers and Beer, the uh, place for uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Bring the family or meet the friends at Burgers and Beer. 
KXOAM 1230 can help you publicize your nonprofit group's upcoming events, and we're happy to do it at no charge. To take advantage of our offer, we ask that you let us know about the event at least two weeks ahead of time. Write down the important information. You know who, what, where, when, and so on. Include a name and phone number of a contact person and mail or deliver the information to KXO 420 Main Street, El Centro, California, 92243. Our email address is kxoamfm at kxoradio.com. The information you supply may be used as community news, public service announcements on the KXO info line or on our website. If you're paying for promotion with another advertising medium, we do offer special nonprofit group rates to promote your event. KXO AM 1230 wants to work with you and your community group to make our Imperial Valley a better place. Tell us what's going on and we'll tell everyone else. KXO AM 1230, here to make a difference in the valley. And your Sports World Roundup this hour brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, an affiliate of the Scripps Health Network, working together to provide you the best of care. College uh, basketball, it's the, yeah, the, the the playoffs. National championships are underway. Final four was last night for the women. Uh, the uh, South Carolina defeated NC State 78 to 59, and Iowa defeated Yukon 71 to 69. That's the final four. Championship game will be Sunday tomorrow. Iowa taking on South Carolina for the national championship. On the men's side, uh, the uh, Final Four is tonight or this afternoon, uh, 1 o'clock this afternoon. That's when the game starts. North Carolina State takes on Purdue. Second game will be Alabama versus Connecticut. Both games in the Final Four will be right here on 1230 KXO, as will the championship, Championship Monday. Uh, that uh, The Championship Monday gets underway at 3.30 Monday afternoon. Championship game starts right around 4.30 p.m. Both those games, well, all of those games, will be heard right here on 1230 KXO. In the NBA, uh, there was a full slate of games yesterday. Uh, the, uh, Ma- the Magic lost. Uh, the Hornets beat them 124 to 115. Pacers got by the Thunder 126 to 112. Trailblazers uh, defeated the Wizards 108 to 102. Celtics over the Kings 101 to 100. Uh, the uh, Bulls beat the Knicks 108 to uh, 100. Heat got by the Rockets 119 to 104. It was the uh, Grizzlies over the Pistons 108 to 90. Raptors will beat the Bucks 117 to 111. Spurs defeated the Pelicans 111 to 109. Mavericks over the Warriors 108 to 106. Suns beat the Timberwolves 97 to 87. And the Clippers defeated the Jazz 131 to 102. We'll have more in just a minute. Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, ready to serve you and your family for all of your health care needs. Let our team of dedicated physicians guide you on your journey to better health. Pioneers is a recognized leader in healthcare and has more than 10 health centers and clinics throughout the Imperial Valley. When the need arises, don't hesitate to come and see us. We have services and locations in Calexico and Raleigh, and of course, our award-winning hospital, Pioneers Memorial. For more information on all Pioneer services, visit www.pmhd.org today. And on the Major League Baseball scoreboard, it was the Blue Jays over the Yankees. The Yankees lost, well, now they've lost a couple now. Uh, three to nothing was the final score. Tigers over the Athletics, five to four. Cubs beat the Dodgers, nine to seven. Rockies defeated the Rays, uh, 10 to seven. It was the Orioles over the Pirates, five to two. Giants beat the Padres, three to two. It was the Mets over the Reds, three to two. Uh, the Phillies defeated the Nationals, a four to nothing. Shut them out. Uh, Braves over the Diamond backs uh, went into 10 innings uh, at uh, Braves at one. Uh, they beat the Diamondbacks six to five. Royals over the White Sox two to one. Rangers uh, defeated the Astros 10 to two. Brewers over the Mariners six to five. And the Red Sox got by the Angels by a score of eight to six. National the Hockey League had a couple of games. Uh, the uh, Sabres beat the Flyers 4-2. to two. Rangers over the Red Wings 4-3. to three. Hurricanes defeated the Capitals 4-2. to two. All Oilers got by the Avalanche 6-2. Uh, to two. Co- Coyotes beat the Golden Knights 7-4. to four. Kraken beat the Ducks by a score of 3-1. to one. In uh, golf, uh, the Le- Leona Maguire and Anneli Korda have reached the T-Mobile match play quarterfinals. As Akshay Bhatia 
recovers from a rocky start uh, to go up five uh, shots at the Texas Open. Take this, uh, it's uh, Akshay. Akshay is on top of the leaderboard by five shots. Ben Shelton makes U.S. a clay court uh, semis in tennis. Will uh, play Etcheverry next. And Jessica Peg- Pegula, the, uh, the U.S. Uh, representative, she edged a Victoria Azarenka to make the uh, Charleston semis. So they still got one more day to play. Red Sox shortstop uh, Trevor Story exited Boston's game against the Los Angeles Angels in the fourth inning of Friday night after injuring his left shoulder on a backhand dive uh, to stop a hit by Mike Trout. Those are always hard to stop. Uh, no uh, word on how long Story will be out. And he, uh, Spencer Strider of the Braves, uh, the Braves ace and the major league leader in uh, wins and strikeouts last season, will have a test on his right elbow on Saturday uh, today after uh, complaining of uh, discomfort Friday after Friday night's game. And we have more. We have uh, Pete Fairbanks. Uh, he had a, a gripe over his a gripe over his grip on the baseball. Uh, for that, he blamed the uh, humidor at the Coors Field. Tampa Bay Rays reliever took issue with the variability of the balls uh, Friday after he issued three walks in the ninth inning. Uh, that paved the way for Ryan McMahon's walk-off grand slam as the Colorado Rockies rally for a 10-7 victory in their home opener. And Rangers' uh, Josh Jung uh, channels Kobe Bryant in reflecting on injury, broke his wrist, and uh, blamed it on the fact that he just just slacked off a little bit and wasted the whole year uh, because he'll be out for the whole year. That's it. That's a look at sports. Brought to you by uh, Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. Log on to pmhd.org for more information about Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. Tuning into the baseball game, monitoring the incoming storm, catching your favorite talk show. These are just a few of the reasons more than 80 million Americans depend on AM radio each month. And did you know AM radio is the backbone of the emergency alert system, keeping us safe in dangerous times? It's reliable, free, and public safety depends on it. Text AM to 52886 and tell Congress we need AM radio in cars. This message furnished by the National Association of Broadcasters. And it is now time for the financial news. The financial news and weather is right here. We're ready for it. It's uh, brought to you by uh, by Southwest Security, a locally owned company that protects you, your home, business, or construction site 24 hours a day, 365 days a week. The uh, stocks ended uh, solidly higher and uh, bond yields rose uh, Friday as Wall Street welcomed a surprisingly strong U.S. jobs report. S&P 500 rose 1.1 percent, making up most of the uh, loss from the uh, previous day uh, and uh, moving uh, closer to its record high set last week. Benchmark Index still posted its first weekly loss in three weeks. Dow Jones Industrial Average rose 0.8 percent and the nasdaq composite gained at 1.2 percent the gains were broad and uh, with every sector in the s p 500 finishing in the green we've got your weather coming up southwest security has been protecting properties 24 hours a day 365 days a year right here at imperial and coachella valleys hi this is jason jackson owner of southwest security I've been in the private security business for over 25 years and have always made it my mission to always provide my clients with the highest quality security services available. Your satisfaction is my number one priority. And don't forget Southwest Postal, the only postal center in Imperial Valley with 24-7, 365 access to your post office box. Access when you need it. Located on the corner of 4th and Hyle in El Centro. The high temperature yesterday, 68 degrees. Overnight low was 46. Wind gusts overnight up to 39 miles per hour. National Weather Service says a weather disturbance exiting the region today will leave behind unseasonably cool temperatures with readings remaining well below normal in early next week. A dry weather system moving through the region on Monday will result in breezy to windy conditions, especially across the western deserts. The latter half of next week will see high pressure build over the region, leading to a strong warming trend and temperatures uh, rising to above normal by next Wednesday and Thursday. 
The sunny skies today, highs right near 72. West uh, Northwest wind of 5 to 15 miles per hour, gusting as high as 20 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly clear skies, overnight lows around 48. Winds will be calm. Sunday, sunny skies, highs right near 79. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, gusting as high as 20 miles per hour. Sunday night, partly cloudy skies, overnight lows around 53. West wind uh, 15 to 25 miles per hour, gusting as high as 35 miles per hour. Monday, sunny skies, highs right near 78. North Northwest wind 15 to 20 miles per hour, gusting as high as 40 miles per hour at times. And right now we are looking at 48 degrees, 62 percent the relative humidity. Financial news and weather has been brought to you by Southwest Security and Southwest Postal Service. Uh, by the Southwest Postal Service. That's the only postal uh, box service uh, offering 24 hour a day, 365 days a year service. Southwest Postal at 4th and Heil in El Centro. More than 80 million Americans depend on AM radio for their news, traffic, weather, sports, and a community connection. It's the backbone of the emergency alert system, keeping us safe in dangerous times. It's critical that we keep AM radio in cars because when cell and internet services are down, this free emergency service could be your only lifeline. Text AM to 52886 and tell Congress we need AM radio in cars. This message furnished by the National Association of Broadcasters. And coming up next, CBS News at the top of the hour, six minutes of news and information. Find out what the heck's going on out there now. Goddard's Gold. From coast to coast, this is Goddard's Gold, right here on the Imperial Valley. AM 1230, KXO. Goddard's Gold. What's your name? Who's your daddy? It's Gold, Goddard's Gold, Saturday, 9 p.m. to midnight, and Sunday morning, 8 <laughs> The best oldies on the radio. KXO, El Centro, the Imperial Valley's local news source. On the hour, sponsored by O'Reilly Auto Parts. I'm Wendy Gillette. Glasses to view the total solar eclipse on Monday are selling like hotcakes. CBS News correspondent Janet Shamlian visited the American Paper Optics plant near Memphis, Tennessee. With as many as 15 states in the path of totality, workers here will crank out close to 75 million pair. With just hours remaining, it's all hands on deck. Manufacturing is a combination of individual assembly and high-tech machines. Custom orders come from businesses, colleges, and hospitals like St. Jude's. The Ross Perot Museum ordered more than a million, but there are small batches, too. The Northeast was all shook up after a 4.8 magnitude earthquake yesterday morning and an aftershock in the evening. A quake strong enough to be felt from Washington, D.C. to New York. Atop the Statue of Liberty, a camera captured the moment the 4.8 shook up the city. Yo, is this an earthquake? This live streamer, one of countless people who felt the shaking. In New Jersey, near the epicenter, homes were damaged and water mains broken. Correspondent Michael George reporting. CBS News confirms CIA Director Bill Burns is in Cairo, Egypt this weekend for hostage negotiations between Israel and Hamas. Some members of Congress are against the U.S. supplying more weapons to Israel. CBS's Natalie Brand reports. A new letter Friday signed by nearly 40 Congress members asked the administration to reconsider consider its decision to authorize the transfer of a new arms package to Israel, approved long before the Israel-Hamas war, which includes billions of dollars in bombs and fighter jets. Senator Ben Cardin of Maryland chairs the Foreign Relations Committee. We have conditionality on all aid to all countries. that It has to be used for the intended purpose, chain of command, things like that. There is intense flooding in Russia. That's an emergency spokesman in the city of Orsk. Rising waters there caused a dam to burst. Hundreds have been evacuated from their homes. The Final Four takes center stage tonight in men's college basketball. Purdue will take on NC State. The other matchup is UConn versus Alabama. Sports Illustrated reporter Kevin Sweeney. For Alabama, the strength is their pace and their shooting. I mean, they want to fly up and down the floor, take as many threes as they can, really put pressure on the defense and 
have to guard you in ways they don't traditionally have to guard teams. On the women's side, Iowa beat UConn and South Carolina easily bested NC State last night. They'll play in the championship game tomorrow afternoon. This is CBS News. Think O'Reilly Auto Parts for all your car care needs. Get the parts and service you need fast from the professional parts people at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Texting enrolls you in a recurring automated marketing text messages. Consent not required to purchase. Message and data rates may apply. The team's looking good this season. I think so. Man, I miss playing football. Being young with unlimited energy to burn ever since I turned 40. I just can't find that fire I used to have. Think you could be lower testosterone? What do you mean? All guys lose their edge when they turn 40. The body has less testosterone. That's why I take Nugenics Total T. I've heard about Nugenics. That really works. Since I started taking Nugenics, I'm lifting like when we played for Coach Carter. I feel more energized at work. It's even spiced up things between me and the missus. Are they still giving out complimentary bottles for people to try? Yep, send a text. It's that easy. Text ENERGY to 4242 for right now for your complimentary bottle of Nugenics Total Tea. It's the number one selling testosterone boosting brand at GNC and Walmart. Do it now and they'll also send you a bottle of Nugenics Thermo X, their newest, most powerful fat burner ever, absolutely free. Text ENRGY to 42424. That's ENERGY to 42424. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Electric semi-trucks are hitting the road. Volvo has delivered a thousand electric semis in North America since 2020. Just new stuff. You know how that goes, you know. Longtime truck driver Mike Ferris is driving one in the Minneapolis metro area as part of a pilot project. A truck's a truck, but no, it's really quiet. The truck gets up to 275 miles on a single charge of its six batteries. The heavier the load, the less the range. Volvo is testing the trucks in Minnesota and Texas so it can learn how they run in the extreme heat and cold. Christopher Cruz, CBS News. Boeing may be under scrutiny these days after a number of incidents with planes in the sky, but on the ground, CEO Dave Calhoun is still making millions of dollars. He's stepping down later this year. In 2023, he received compensation worth almost $33 million. That's an increase of around 45%. Wendy Gillette, CBS News. My wife and I both, we ended up mildly sick for a few months and the nasal congestion was probably the worst part. I had like a post nasal drip, just super congested all the time. We were taking everything we possibly could, but nothing really worked. Kyrie was miserable until a friend recommended Navage. Navage offers immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus, germs, and other airborne irritants. Don't live in misery this cold season. Use Navage so you can breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. The biggest thing Navage has done has completely cleaned out my nasal passages. It was from the first use. I was able to just clear out anything that was stopping me from breathing correctly. Navage helps me clear the way, literally clear the way, for me to operate better in the rest of my life. Experience the Navage difference yourself. Navage is available at Navage.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. And now, more of the best oldies on the radio. Ladies and gentlemen, let me lay on you a so-so entertainer with George Gale. Not much of a humanitarian, and this cat was never nobody's friend. Uh, you can applaud if you want to. AM 1230 KXO. 1230 KXO.